Hey, good morning, guys. Jesse Rothacker here from Forgotten Friend Reptile Sanctuary. We're just getting packed up for a library program that's going to be in Chester County this morning. And when we're packing up at the reptile rescue, we never know what we're going to see. And uh, there are things we talk about at our programs, like the fact that king snakes eat other snakes, they eat rattlesnakes, they eat copperheads, are immune to the venom. And many times, actually, frequently, we will see our king snakes actually biting themselves. Uh, they will sometimes see their own tail, they'll think it's a snake, they'll take a bite out of it, and they'll realize they bit themselves. They don't usually swallow themselves. Uh, but today, well, <laughs> we're gonna see a king snake that, I don't know, might not have done very well on the SATs. Let's see exactly what's going on down here. And um, we're gonna show you what's happening. Let me flip it around for you. Good morning, Trisha. Here's one of our king snakes. This one is already pending adoption. But as you can see, so he did not just find a snake to eat. He did not just nibble on himself. Ah, this poor king snake is actually in the process of swallowing his own tail. And so that's going to be one of our projects before we leave this morning, is trying to convince him that he does not want to eat this snake. Because as you can see, the snake that he's eating, it's himself. So this is a king snake that would win the DTD award. He is not the smartest king snake around. And, um, and I swear, guys, we have been feeding him. He actually is a very good eater, but I think he is just very hungry to the point uh, he's still trying to swallow. So anyway, guys, we're going to work on this. Sometimes if we can just kind of tap their nose a little bit, um, they're not gonna like that. That'll make them nervous. And usually if you make a snake nervous while they're eating, they will let go of whatever it is they're eating. So we're gonna try tapping his nose a little bit and see if that can cause him to get nervous and hopefully unhinge his jaws. Let's see, you see he's moving his jaws a little bit. No, he's going the wrong way, he's still going forward. Oh brother, I was hoping we would be able to get him just to get nervous and let go. Instead, he's going forward. So what I'm trying to do, trying to get my nails underneath there because their teeth, <laughs> their, their teeth kind of dig in. So in order to get the snakes to let go, you have to sort of push in and pull up. So that's what we're going to try to do. Kind of push in a little bit and then pull up. No, he's still going forward. My goodness. Oh, this guy. He is not the brightest pal. Now, I promise we will feed you later. So I'm going to start unhinging this bottom one. See, he does have sharp teeth, but I'm able to slowly unhinge from the bottom. At least the bottom is letting go. Do you guys see that? Got the bottom letting go. I'm gonna work on this top one. Come on, buddy. The top one has got a good grip. This is gonna be difficult to do, but we're working on the top. Oh, pal, you are not that smart. You really gotta let go. All right, I'm okay, I can feel. I don't know, you probably don't hear it, but I can feel those, there we go. Let go of this, buddy. You don't want this. You don't want this. Yes, let go of that. There you go, silly. You got to let go of that snake. I know it's your favorite food, but you do not want to eat that. We will get... <laughs> I can't believe. Look how much of himself he has eaten. Okay, but this is good. He is letting go. The blood on my finger, I think that is from him. I don't think it's mine. I haven't felt any teeth pierce my skin yet, although I am feeling his teeth with my thumbnail. I'm not feeling... <laughs> oh my goodness, he has eaten so much of himself. Buddy, let go. You gotta stop holding on to your own tail. The problem is, if you have reptiles that are not getting along, you can typically separate them. You know, and generally you don't want to cohabitate most reptiles, but you can separate some. Uh, the problem is, when you have a king snake eating his own tail, look at how much of that he's eaten. You cannot separate a king snake from himself. You cannot move him out of the cage from being in the same cage with himself. So he's just going to have to learn. Come on. Here we go, little guy. This guy is already pending adoption. I believe he's getting picked up. He's being adopted this Sunday. And I'm going to have to tell him the last time he ate was uh, Friday morning, but it was himself. He actually <laughs> ate his own tail and then he spit it back up. Well, look at this, guys. He is back to normal. There you are, little guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He must have swallowed almost half of his body. Not the brightest, not the brightest guy in his world. Yes, Lisa, he is eating himself. That's how he was when we walked in this morning. We we're packing up for our library program, and this little guy here, uh, not the brightest snake that we have, he had himself half eaten. So now you guys got to see it in real time. 
Same experience that we had. That is what happens when a king snake gets too hungry. They will actually eat themselves. So I'm going to flip it around, guys. I'll say goodbye to you. All right. Hey, thanks, everyone, for giving reptiles a chance. Uh, thanks for visiting ForgottenFriend.org. We will be out in Chester County. Chester Springs Library is hosting our library program. If you want to see where we're going to be next, just visit ForgottenFriend.org. Or, of course, um, you can visit ForgottenFriend.org to schedule school assemblies coming up in the fall. If you'd like to give reptiles a chance at your local school, at your children's school, visit ForgottenFriend.org slash events. You'll see where we are. If you want to come out, visit an event, or you'll find out how you can schedule our fun program. And typically, we do not have snakes actually eating themselves live at the program. But as you saw it live here at Forgotten Friend, it does occasionally happen. King snakes occasionally will eat themselves. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye. No, really, bye.